In 1930, a family moved into 20 Northmore Road, a big house in the university city of Oxford, England. The young father entertained his children with his stories about a hobbit called Bilbo Baggins. And Bilbo went on a quest to the Lonely Mountain in the company of a wizard. That young man was J.R.R. Tolkien. And in the 30s, he wrote The Hobbit. By 1939, England was once again at war. The shadow of that war and the earlier one in which Tolkien himself fought would stretch across the pages of The Lord of the Rings from the Shire to the Dead Marshes. But ultimately, good would triumph and peace return both to Middle Earth and the world of 1945. Tolkien built his vast mythology for his fictional world in between teaching Oxford students the languages and literature he loved. Altenes Yandoveri Lamberiar, Vanya Elda Lambello, Anna Uglug Jaburiza Burs Durbagob. Tolkien's world has been the inspiration for many artists, writers, filmmakers. But so far, there's been no specific place dedicated to the appreciation of Tolkien's life. Until now because for the first time in many years, the Tolkien house is up for sale. We may never have another opportunity like this in our lifetimes to convert the home and grounds into that little haven of beauty and creativity that Tolkien would have recognized. And that includes restoring the garden that he loves so much. A hobbit hole at the end of the garden, maybe? Spaces for quiet and reflection, like Rivendell. This is our vision at Project Northmore, a charity set up to purchase the house and then go on to establish the centre. And we hope one day to welcome Tolkien enthusiasts from the world over to take part in our programme of events. The house will be dedicated to the fans. But we cannot achieve this without the support of the worldwide community of Tolkien fans, our fellowship of funders, the aim is to raise 4.5 million pounds. That's about six million dollars. And that will allow us to buy the house and begin the program of events. Now, we know this is a big ask in difficult times, so we are only asking you to give what you can afford. There are so many of us, you see. And we all want to see this done. We will only succeed if we all do this together as a fellowship. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.